Okay, so one of the other things that we're going to be doing is doing some edit poly push-pull deformations. Uh, what I have here is a plane, it's just 160 by 160 with a lot of segments. And what I'm going to add to that in the modifiers is an edit poly. I could convert that plane to an edit poly alternatively. Um, doesn't really matter, it's just that I can get back to my segments if I add it as a modifier. Down at the bottom of the edit poly are the paint deformations and within that is push-pull and what happens is this kind of crosshair comes up on your, on your selected object and if I sort of scroll along you'll see um, it starts to push and pull the um, site underneath. What I've added to that is a VU mesh contours just so that you can see them. So if I just press my F4, as soon as I'm making my deformations, um, the VU mesh contour is contouring that. For the moment I'm going to turn that off because I really just want to concentrate on the push-pull first. The push-pull um, uh, I'm just going to also cancel those, so I can come down here and cancel those ones that I've done. Because one of the most important things is you really do want to have this Z um, constraint on. So now I'm going to do push-pull again and I'll just show you how you can um, modify the brush strength. So I'm in here and I'm push-pulling and it's constrained to the Z, which is great but they're quite large. My push-pulls are quite yet large. So if I hold down Control and Shift, you can see that the radius of my brush gets smaller and I can make much smaller interventions. And if I hold down Alt and Shift, the strength, and you can see it changing over in the little spinners on the right hand side, the strength is coming down. So it's very quick um, and it does take a while to get a bit of control over it and what will happen is as soon as you take your finger off the mouse um, it starts to commit those uh, as new as new bits of geometry so you can actually sort of uh, come in here and and make the brush size much smaller but actually work on uh, changes that you've already made. Now it's a bit blocky um, and the way to fix that is to put a turbo smooth on. Uh, you can also use the relax brushes and relax things down a bit um, and you can revert in certain areas so if you just want to bring it down so it's just it's quite intuitive and it's very quick. Um, you can get a result quite quickly. On top of that, we want to add a turbo smooth. And that will start to make that look a lot more rounded and a lot more like topography. On top of that, we probably want to add our contouring from VU. So if we come across here to the uh, create panel and we come to our shapes and underneath the shapes you will now find VU. So if you press on that um, and you select VU mesh contours, what we need for this to work is a rectangle and your mesh. So I'm going to click in the scene and then I'm going to pick mesh. I'll need to come back up here to the modify panel again. And I'm going to pick rectangle. It's just a funny little jump that it does. You just need to get used to it. As a default, it gives you 10 contours with a gap of 1. Um, if you want half metre contours, obviously, you need to bring that down to 0.5. The nice thing about this is that if I come back to my edit poly 
Oh, actually, I'll just change the colour of that so you can see it properly. Um, I'll try make some pink again. Is that if I come down to my edit poly again and I make more edits to that, Foo's contour um, will automatically update with that. As I'm editing, the contour mesh will update with it. So it's a little bit, it takes it, it's quite computational. Um, as you can hear my fans whirring away in the background um, just because it does take a bit of work for it to do it but it is very powerful.